Next, we'll look at set operations, different things we can do with sets. The first thing we'll look at is the union, which is written by this symbol A, and this is called a cup B. And this is stuff that's either an A or B or both. Consist consist of all elements X such that A belong X belongs to A or X belongs to B. We can draw a Venn diagram of this situation. I have my set A and my set B. The union is going to be everything in A and everything in B or in both. So we shade both circles fully. We'll do an example. A is 1, 3, 5 and B is 1, 2, 3. So A union B would consist of everything that's in one or the other or both. So 1, 2, 3, and 5. The next one we'll look at is the intersection, which is denoted by this cap symbol, A intersect B. And this consists of elements that are in both sets. So we have elements that are in A and elements that are in B. So things that they share. If I draw the Venn diagram of this situation, I have my set A and my set B. The intersection is what they share, where they overlap, and that's it. For an example, A is 1, 3, 5, and B is 1, 2, 3. So A intersect B is what they have in common. They both have a 1, and they both have a 3. Related to this are disjoint sets. These are sets where the intersection is the empty set. They have nothing in common. For example, if A is the set of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, and then B is the set of 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, we can see they have nothing in common. Therefore, A intersect B is the empty set, and these two sets are called disjoint. Our next operation is called the set difference, and this is written as A minus B. Depending, you may see it also written as A slash B. And these are things that are in A, but not in B. So it's the set of all elements that are contained in A, but not contained in B. If I want to draw the Venn diagram, I'll have my set A and my set B, and this is all the things in A that are not a part of B. So it's everything that's not joined together. Going back to our example, if A is 1, 3, 5 and B is 1, 2, 3, then we have that A minus B is everything in A that's not in B. A contains a 1 that they share, a 3 that they share, and then a 5 that's unique. If I try to do B minus A, B contains a 1 that they share, a unique 2, and a 3 that they share. The last operation we'll look at is called the complement, which is denoted by this A bar. And this is given by U minus A, where U is the universal set. It's what our elements are, where our elements are coming from. If I try to draw the Venn diagram, here's A, and it's everything outside of A. This does require us knowing our universal set, where we're coming from. As an example, we're gonna let A be the set of all positive integers that are greater than 10, and U will be positive integers. Then A complement is everything that's in U that's not in A, which would be all of the positive integers that are less than or equal to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10.